Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Today uh, we are going to do a love reading. We're going to check to see what the energies are. And uh, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you see it is when uh, you are meant to receive the messages. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, I am not doing personal readings at this time, but I will put an extended reading link in the description box if this reading resonates with you. Also, uh, I do do a giveaway each month, so I do give away personal readings, so details are below if you want to enter the giveaway. So with that, everything else you can check out, uh, there's some additional information below. And let's get started with your reading. So let's see what the energies are here in love. What can we see, Spirit? Thank you, angels and Spirit, for your guidance. All right. Okay. So we have here number 44, which is woman holding a heart. Okay, so... Uh, feels a lot like water energy here. There's a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. Uh, it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. So I feel there's an energy here of um, somebody is, I feel here, reminiscing, thinking about past memories. I'm also getting you know a lot of deep emotion here. You also have here door to personal healing and happiness number 34, which is seven. Some of you may be seeing repeating fours. Uh, so that might be a synchronicity where your angels and guides are trying to get your attention here. I feel like you're really wanting stability here in love. Okay, there is, seems to be some sort of challenge here. Uh, healing, happiness. There is a rainbow ahead. So I feel like that is very positive. Okay, so we're going to put that card there. I feel like there's some sort of challenge, okay, in a connection or a relationship here. But there definitely is a lot of um, feelings and emotions between you and somebody here. I'm also getting with the door to personal healing and happiness. Uh, you know, this can be about self-love. This can be about you um, working on you at this time. But I'm also getting here that this is also about overcoming obstacles here. So this is a number seven does show me here that there is challenges in your situation, but I feel there's a rainbow ahead in your situation. Now you have uh, anxiety here, number 18, which is nine. Okay, so there's definitely something heavily I get here on your mind. All right, something um, that... I feel could be stirred by these emotions that you are feeling, okay, between you and someone else. Now know that the roles can be reversed here, okay? Now, <clears throat> some of you may be just coming out of a relationship. Maybe you're feeling nervous or anxious about new love, okay, opening the doors to new love. You may still have this certain person uh, still on your mind, whatever your situation is. But let's pull some tarot, see what additional messages come out for you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for the collective in love? What messages do you have for the collective? All right. So you have the Page of Cups, you have the Chariot, and you have the Four of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck here you have the Empress, which is beautiful energy. So it shows me here you're manifesting and attracting beautiful things in your life. You may be focused on you, as I said, focused on your energy, healing, okay, maybe doing some self-improvement here. Uh, I feel like some of you may be doing some yoga. All right, I'm getting that energy as well. But really a blossoming energy and an energy here where you are manifesting and attracting abundance in your life. What I'm seeing here is, is I feel a few things. I feel like you are trying to move forward into new love, okay? I feel like you're trying to take control of your life, move forward here. I feel like 
<clears throat> you're wanting to move forward towards something new in your life, something happy, something genuine here. But you also have here the Four of Cups. So I'm getting an energy here that even though you are trying to move on, I feel like you still have emotion for somebody in the past where maybe you may have felt that you are missing an opportunity with this person or maybe this person may have rejected you. But nonetheless, I do feel like you have options here. You got uh, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here, strong Cancerian energy and a lot of water energy. So I feel there's still a lot of emotion here. All right, let's pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have here for the collective? Okay, so you have the Ten of Swords. You have the Nine of Wands. And you have the Five of Wands. I feel this one wants to come out too. And you have the Seven of Wands. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a very independent, very stable energy. As I said, I feel like you are working on you. You're taking care of yourself. Uh, some of you may be starting your own business uh, or just working hard, okay? Working hard for the money, but it does feel like a very nice energy, okay? Outside of love, okay? Outside of love, I feel this is a very good energy. You're doing very well for yourself. And it's not about male or female. Again, it's about the energy. Now, you also could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. I'm also getting here when it comes to love, you know, I feel like you're wanting something more stable. Now, you do have the Ace of Wands and you have the Six of Cups. So I do get this energy. You may be wanting to rekindle a situation with someone from your past here. Uh, a soulmate energy here, okay? This also can be this person returning, wanting to rekindle with you, someone catching up with you from your past. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. You have the Ten of Swords, okay? So I do feel like there was some sort of ending here, something very hurtful. It already happened. It was very painful here. And... <clears throat> I feel there's an energy here where you're hoping to hear from this person or to re receive some sort of happy message, even though at the same token, I feel like you're trying to move on from this situation. You're doing your healing. You have the nine of wands. Okay. I feel like you have a lot invested with this person. You've been through a lot of challenges. I don't feel like you've completely given hope. On the situation but like as I said I do feel there's an energy here where I feel like you know you're still trying to move on you're still trying to be happy in the situation you have uh, the five of wands and you have the seven of wands so this is the energy here where you may have been, been caught up in a situation where you felt like things weren't moving things weren't um, you know progressing in a situation or you and this person there was some sort of argument or not seeing things the same way okay I do see definitely this is a challenge okay or an obstacle in your situation however I'm also seeing here that I do feel like you're going to overcome this okay whatever that means for you whether you decide to be single here as the nine of pentacles or you decide um, that you still want to have hope in this connection, okay? Like I said from the beginning with the door to personal happiness, there is a rainbow waiting for, for you on the other side there. So I do feel like there is some, some sort of challenge in the situation that you are going to overcome. Let's pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for the collective in love okay so we got all three already you have the page of pentacles you have the eight of swords and you have the ace of swords and bottom of the deck here you have the king of swords so i do get that there is some sort of clarity coming through to you some sort of communication a breakthrough in your situation you could be dealing with an aquarius a libra or a gemini there is some sort of message, okay? 
Um, it's interesting because you have the Page of Pentacles and you have the Page of Cups. I do feel like there is some sort of message coming through to you. It could be from a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. All right. Uh, some of you, you could have two energies here. You have two pages. Okay, there could be two. There may have already been somebody um, new that has come into your life. Uh, but I feel that whoever you had this ending with, there's some sort of message coming through from this person. Okay, some sort of clarity here. Look at that. You have the King of Swords and you have the Queen of Swords. You've got a couple here. This person uh, has been spying on you here with the Page of Swords. I do feel there's some communication coming in. They do have something here that they want to express. They haven't uh, completely let you go here with the Two of Wands. I feel um, there is some sort of energy here. I feel like they want to rekindle here. It may even be an apology is what I'm getting as well. You have uh, the Eight of Swords. Okay, so I feel like this is your energy here with the anxiety. I feel um, there's an energy here I feel that you may be feeling here you don't know where things are going to go or you don't know if things are really going to take off. Okay, so there's a period of waiting here. And I feel this has been a long time waiting is the energy that I'm getting. But I will say here, um, I do see, and I just want to say with this Eight of Swords, okay, this is uh, definitely anxiety or fear that is self-imposed. You can take yourself out of this at any time, all right? This is letting your fears get the best of you, okay? So don't let that hinder your progress. You have the Ace of Swords. Again, a breakthrough, communication, all right, overcoming the obstacles here. But for some of you, I feel like you could be cutting somebody out of your life as well. This is, you know, cutting people out of your life. Maybe this person is causing you a lot of anxiety or a lot of stress here. So you may make the decision, okay, to cut this person out of your life. But I feel like you're going to listen to the details, okay? And you're going to, as the Queen of Swords, be very logical and discerned about the communication that's coming in here. Let's pull some more cards and see what additional messages come out. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What additional messages do you have here for the collective? All right, so you have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Moon card, Strong Pisces, Cancer Energy. The Five of Pentacles, okay, and bottom of the deck here, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So it's an energy here, I feel, you know, there's something here with timing, there's something here with uh, things moving slow or hardly moving. I feel you have a fear about working on things with this person. Okay, with this Eight of Pentacles, the Moon card, and the Five of Pentacles. This may have been somebody here who left you out in the cold in the past. Um, and the energy here, I feel that, you know, there's that worry, there's that anxiety. Is this person going to do this to me again? Are they going to, re are they going to come back around? Are they going to reject me? Right? Um, and as I said, here's that Nine of Swords. Again, anxiety here. All right. Anxiety here. I do see this person returning. Okay, they're coming back. Look at that. The Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Okay. You have the Tower card here. And look at that. And you have the Hierophant. I feel this person could be returning. Okay. They may. Um, I feel a couple things. Okay. This person may have had an epiphany, right? Um, something incredible may have happened or that something spiritual may have happened to them that um, has changed their mindset, has changed their thinking here. Um, because I do see here this person rushing in, okay? This person having an epiphany, okay? And they may even surprise you with some sort of commitment, right? Um or marriage here if you you know if you have progressed farther with this person than some people here look at that the magician and the judgment card yeah this person is returning here all right this person's returning here i feel this is an energy here where they're going to make things happen right 
they're trying to manifest you back into their life they're coming in they're rushing in here with the knight of swords the knight of wands however i do feel like you still have that worry okay um about the timing okay of this situation okay so let's uh pull some actually i'm gonna pull a different deck let's pull some guidance cards here thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what is uh, the guidance and or messages you have for the collective in this situation. Look at that. Love, peace, joy, happiness, soulmate connection, partnership. This person has a very strong connection with you, okay? They haven't let go of the connection here, even though you may have been trying to move on blossom yeah there's still a uh, hope okay for things to grow to blossom between the two of you okay it's a number two here so definitely it's your free will it's your free choice your decision in the situation but there is the opportunity i feel here for things to grow it's funny because it's on the knight of wands and you know you can see a seed has been planted on this wand and there is an ivy growing and there is an ivy here all right and there's ivy here so i feel this is a situation that does have a lot of potential for growth and to blossom daydreams and decisions yeah i feel like you're really trying to make a decision about this situation whether you want to keep moving forward all right um, and you may even be dreaming about this person. Bottom of the deck here, you have open up, right? This is about meditation, connecting to the divine. All right. I do feel like there's a choice, a decision here you're having to make. I do feel like this person is going to return. However, I do feel like you have your reservations, your doubts, your fears about the situation. If you're wanting to reconcile with this person, I am going to take it to the extended. We're going to talk about what are they thinking, feeling, what their upcoming actions are. Uh, well, and we'll do love messages and guidance. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope to see you on the extended. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.